Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are certain to attract massive crowds wherever they go during their three-day tour of Fiji. But some are criticizing the timing of the visit, which comes less than three weeks before the country's elections. Rob Nair, who was Fiji's foreign affairs permanent secretary until he resigned last year says he is concerned Fijian Prime Minister Frank Bainham Rama will take full advantage of the royal couple's widespread publicity. Fijians love the royals, and the government knows that there will be great euphoria and joy created by the visit, Mr Nair said in a statement provided to ABC. He said he is concerned the incumbent prime minister will use photo opportunities with Harry and Meghan to paint himself in a positive light. Another outspoken former government official, Shailendra G. Rayu, condemned the visit in a Facebook post. In a letter addressed to the UK High Commissioner to Fiji, Mr. Rayu called for the visit to be postponed to a mutually convenient and more appropriate time. Although not publicly, he wrote. I am sure you would agree privately that the present government has not provided a level playing field for an open and fair elections. The election is only the second democratically held election since a coup in 2006, which resulted in eight years of military rule. It is due to be held on November 14, only 20 days after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle first arrive. But the High Commission has maintained the visit is not political in nature and is only designed to support bilateral relations between Fiji and the United Kingdom. Given that the couple will visit Australia, New Zealand, and Tonga in their 16-day tour of the Asia-Pacific, the High Commission says it only makes sense for a visit to Fiji to take place at the same time. Harry and Meghan will receive a guard of honor at the airport as they arrive in Fiji, followed by an official welcome ceremony at Albert Park later in the evening. The royal couple will lay a wreath at the war memorial, just as they did in Sydney, before meeting a number of Fijian war veterans. They will also unveil a statue commemorating Sergeant Talayasi Labalaba, a British Fijian soldier who lost his life in 1972. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced last week that they are expecting their first child as they began their tour of Australia. After a taxing week of royal events, Prince Harry is encouraging Meghan to rest. On Monday, October 15, royal baby fever struck once more as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced they are expecting their first child. The announcement came as the pair started their 16-day tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been married five months, wasting no time in starting a family. The royal baby is due to be born in the spring of 2019, and pregnancy combined with royal duties is taking its toll on the Duchess. This has meant Harry has set out for today's engagements on his own as mother-to-be Meghan rests. A royal source said, she wants to do everything, but Prince Harry is encouraging her to pace herself. This morning Harry travelled to Australia's Fraser Island and took part in a traditional welcome-to-country smoking ceremony. Afterwards, the Duke unveiled a plaque for the dedication of the forests of Gary. A more arrested Meghan later joined her husband for a walkabout on Fraser Island. She had spent this morning at their hotel resting for the day ahead. The first week of their tour had seen the couple travel across Australia and attend multiple events, as well as taking time to meet royal fans. Meghan was glowing as she arrived by car to meet her Harry, after a much-needed rest. She wore a striped dress by Reformation and brown leather lace-up sandals. The Duchess clutched her growing baby bump as she walked with her husband in Queensland. A royal aide said of Meghan, she isn't sick, she just had a tiring few days and we were concerned about the roads on the island which are incredibly bumpy and uncomfortable for anyone, let alone a pregnant woman. But the Duchess was very keen to rejoin the Duke at the last engagement of the day to greet the people of the island. The parents-to-be were given gifts including flowers and bears during the walkabout. Tomorrow Meghan and Harry's schedule sees them fly to Fiji's capital, Suva. According to a statement from the government of Fiji, the Duke and Duchess will be greeted by a guard of honor at the airport in Nazari. They will then attend a welcome ceremony known as Virkar Kravi Vakivanya.
Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are heading to the picturesque Fraser Island this afternoon on the seventh day of their landmark 16-day tour of Oceania, and they are expected to stay in the award-winning Kingfisher Bay Resort, which will be perfect for the pregnant Duchess who has been left worn out following a week of engagements. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a variety of engagements to attend and will be met upon their arrival by the traditional owners of Kigri, the Butchola people and the Premier of Queensland. Their Royal Highnesses will also take part in a traditional welcome to country smoking ceremony and unveil a plaque for the dedication of the forests of Kigri to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy. Fraser Island's rainforest is home to the Satinay trees which, known for their hardiness in water, were used to build the London docks in the 1930s. It has been reported the Duchess will not take part in all of her official duties during the day, but will instead will rest in the fancy resort which boasts quiet beaches, secluded villas and a fancy health spa. Kensington Palace said in a statement, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. It is believed Meghan has not been suffering from morning sickness, but she has been left worn out following a series of back-to-back -back official events around Australia this past week. Prince Harry and Meghan arrived at Hervey Bay around an hour ago in an Aussie RAF jet. The couple left the airport in separate cars as the Duchess is expected to spend the day resting in a resort on Fraser Island. Meghan and Harry have just arrived at Harvey Bay. The Duchess of Sussex stopped to say hello to well-wishers and she is now expected to board the Tasman Adventure, a local whale-watching operating boat that will bring her to the island. The Duke is taking a different boat as he needs to take a quicker route. Hundreds of royal fans have arrived early at the Riverhead's Wharf Barge stop, hoping to catch a glimpse of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Suzanne Denton from Riverheads, has been at the stop since 6.30 am. Ms Denton said she hopes to get a picture with Prince Harry. She added, I've followed Harry all of his life. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are currently flying to Fraser Island. A video shows the couple boarding the plane, Meghan is wearing a loose purple dress while Harry a navy blue shirt and a pair of camel chino. Prince Harry is expected to receive the traditional welcome to country smoking ceremony from the Butchola people before a plaque is unveiled to dedicate the popular holiday spots pristine rainforests to the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy Project. He will also visit Lake Mackenzie before meeting rangers from the National Park to learn about the picturesque island's unique animal and plant life. Fraser Island's hardwood trees were used to build the London docks in the 1930s due to their famed hardiness in water. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palazczuk will also hand the newly pregnant couple a handmade teddy bear from Tambo. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are already disagreeing on their new royal baby's future, Radar Online reports. According to the U.S. publication, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are bickering over who will take care of their royal taunt. Harry wants to honor tradition and have a royal nanny opens a new window. Like he had when he was a child, a source tells the site. His mother, Princess Diana, was very hands-on, but Harry and his brother were in reality raised by the royal nanny and he wants this for his child too. But, according to Radar Meghan isn't having it. Yes. She will have professional help, but she wants her mother to help raise the baby, not someone that the family appoints, the source further claimed. The Duchess of Sussex wants to have her mother, Doria Ragland, move from California to London and help with the upbringing. She's going to find a flat, the source said. She's not moving into the palace, but they will find a place for mommy, and mommy's going to help out. Doria sent fans wild last month after she was spotted taking baby care classes. The 62-year-old former social worker and yoga instructor is reportedly taking classes as the Cradle Company in Pasadena, Los Angeles, the Daily Star reported. The Duchess of Sussex's mother has been learning vital skills, such as first aid from specialist coaches in L.A. Meghan wants to avoid hiring staff if possible once her first child arrives. 
The thought of having her mom move in with them and take on the role of baby nurse is the best possible solution to that. Even more so because it's something Doria has always wanted to do anyway. A source added to the paper, she's learned everything from breastfeeding and lactation consultancy, basic baby care, CPR and first aid. The course also covers sleep training for later on, weaning and helping the new mother with her recovery.